JYS back in the building. This video defines each and every one of us. So me and my girl was watching this video the other day for obvious reasons. And her reaction at the end of the video was totally different to my reaction at the end of the video. At the end of the video, I slightly got annoyed. I slightly got a bit vexed, you know. I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to spoil it. I'm going to say one thing. Everybody walking on planet Earth, because a lot of people feel like they're a loser. A lot of people on planet Earth are losers. But I'm telling you right now, whether people feel like they're a loser, whether people truly are a loser, everybody on planet Earth was born a winner. Let's get into it, fam. During ejaculation, nearly 300 million sperms move from the testes through the tubes called the vas deferens into the area of the prostate. At this point, the prostate contracts, closing off the opening between the bladder and the urethra, releasing fluid into the urethra and pushing semen on through. The seminal forms a thick fluid that is alkaline in order to protect sperm from the acidic environment of the female vagina. The gel is liquefied by enzymes from the prostate gland. It also contains sugars to nourish the sperm. The seminal plasma is left in the vagina. Sperm use their tails to swim through the layers of cervical mucus that guard the entrance to the uterus. During ovulation, this barrier becomes thinner and changes its acidity, creating a friendlier environment for the sperm. On the other side, after releasing the egg at about day 14 of the period, the egg arrives at a specific portion of the tube called the ampular ismic junction. It rests for another 30 hours. Fertilization occurs in this portion of the tube. Once the sperm has entered the uterus, contractions propel the sperm upward into the fallopian. So one thing that the narrator hasn't mentioned, when a man ejaculates, on, on average, on average, 300 million sperm gets released, yeah? And it travels towards the egg, yeah? Fallopian tubes. To meet the waiting egg, sperm must travel from the vagina to the fallopian tubes a tough journey that few sperm survive. This process may be nature's way of allowing only the healthiest sperm to fertilize the egg. To you hear that, yeah? Only a few sperm survive, yeah? Nature's way to ensure that only the healthy sperm make it towards the egg, yeah? Provide the best chances of having a healthy baby. The first sperm enter the tubes a few minutes after ejaculation, but However, the first sperm are not likely to fertilize the egg. Modal sperm can survive in the female reproductive tract for up to five days. The magic happens in the fallopian tubes. The fallopian tube pushes the egg towards the uterus. Cilia push the sperm towards the egg. Also, the surrounding cells of the egg produce a chemical that attracts sperm. The sperm first burrow through the cells of the corona radiata. Then, upon contact with the zona pellucida, the sperm bind to the receptors in the zona pellucida. Then, the enzyme-filled cap of the sperm, called the acrosome, releases its stored digestive enzymes. Finally, the sperm must fuse with the egg plasma membrane. This event causes the egg membrane to change and prevent other sperm from attaching to it. Now attached, the sperm's nucleus, where the chromosomes are stored, enters the egg cell, looking for the egg's nucleus. Egg combines genetic material with the sperm to create a full set of chromosomal DNA with 23 pairs of chromosomes that contain a unique copy of half the genes of the parent source. This is the blueprint for a whole new unique person 
that instantly determines gender, hair color, eye color, and many other characteristics. The combined sperm and egg is called a zygote. It is the earliest developmental stage. It divides rapidly in the days following fertilization. The zygote then travels down the fallopian tube to the uterus. After fertilization, the zygote continues to divide and morph into a blastocyst ball of 16 cells, approximately five to six days after fertilization. It is smaller than the tip of a ballpoint pen. Only 20% to 30% of fertilized eggs will reach the blastocyst stage. Embryos that survive this stage of development have a high implantation potential once transferred into the uterine cavity. The blastocyst hatches out of its shell and burrow into the uterine wall, endometrium, which serves as the source of oxygen and nutrients. About four weeks from the beginning of the last period, near the next period, the blastocyst has begun to produce the pregnancy hormone to tell your ovaries to stop releasing eggs. From then on, the menstrual cycle pauses. The blastocyst is called an embryo now. Home pregnancy tests might be able to get a positive result. At week five, the circulatory system, brain, and spinal cord are beginning to form and the tiny heart will start to beat. The baby's heart beats about 54 million times before birth. The placenta provides oxygen and nutrients to the growing baby and removes waste products from the baby's blood via the umbilical cord. The nose, mouth, and ears are starting to shape at week six. At weeks seven and eight, the embryo has doubled in size since last week's. Little hands and feet start to grow. At week nine to 12 of pregnancy, the embryo is called a fetus. The baby is almost fully formed and has completed the most critical portions. The facial features are more recognizable. The fetus's head is rotated and bent towards the chest and he can occasionally touch his face. The diaphragm muscles start to grow. The reproductive, circulatory, and urinary systems are all at an advanced stage of development. The fetus will urinate in the amniotic sac. It is a sign of the proper functioning of the fetus's body. If the baby is a girl, her ovaries contain millions of eggs. If the fetus is a boy, his testicles will already start producing testosterone, male sex hormone, which is necessary for the development of his reproductive system. She or he is about five centimeters in size and 14 grams in weight. She or he is growing and maturing until ready to birth.
So imagine, my girl watched the video before me twice. So the third time she watched it, it was with me. And when she watched it twice on her own, she said she cried. So obviously on the third time she watched it, she watched it with me. And it was my first time watching it. And she said to me, yeah, when she watched the video at the end, she cried twice. And I'm just sitting there thinking, your reaction is emotion. You got upset and started crying and that. You know, women are like, in it. My reaction to this video, I'm thinking, but this is slightly annoys me, you know, this slightly gets my vex, you know. Like I said, everybody on this planet, whether you're a loser now, whether you believe you're a loser and that, you was born a fucking winner, blood. Imagine, like I said in the beginning of the video, each ejaculation allows 300 million sperm on average to enter the uterus and that. Yeah? So imagine, 300 sperm are rushing down the uterus, fallopian tube, whatever in it, to fertilise this egg. Most of them don't make it. Imagine it to be like a, a, a marathon. Imagine you're in a race with 300 million people, yeah? And towards the end, because obviously, it's survival of the fittest. You can't... The reason why it's difficult for the sperm to fertilise the egg is because it doesn't want any weak sperm to fertilise the egg and that. So there has to be hurdles put in place, so to speak. So anyway, imagine you're in a race of 300 million people and that. And towards the end, there's like a couple dozen, 24, 30 of you left and that. Imagine the version of you that exists means that only the best sperm was actually allowed to fertilise the egg, fam. Do you understand, yeah, that the version of you that exists right now, my brother, all my sister watching right now, is the best version, is the best sperm that came out of the bunch of the 300 million blood. Everyone was born a fucking winner, fam. I don't want to hear that you're a black man and you feel like life is hard, fam. I don't want to hear that, oh, you know, I'm not six foot three or I'm not a millionaire, blood. you got every opportunity in this world to make something of your fucking self, blood. Do you know, even during, uh, let's say, let's say uh, the, the best uh, sperm cell fertilised, the strongest and best uh, sperm cell fertilised the egg and that. Do you know, even during the early stage of development, the heart in the fetus could have failed, the lungs, the kidney, whatever, the brain could have failed. Let's say further on during the stages of development and that. You see the urinary uh, functions and that with the, the baby or the fetus urinates and that, something could have gone wrong. Maybe it didn't work properly. Maybe the toxins from the urine stayed inside the body and killed off the baby, blood. Even when you was born or during childbirth and that, the umbilical cord could have got wrapped around your neck and killed you, blood. The version of you that exists right now was the best version of your dad's sperm, blood. There's no excuse for failure, fam. Yeah, everyone, some people right now feel like they're losers and that, but I'm telling you right now, everyone was born a fucking winner, fam. There's no excuses to be a failure, blood. That's down to you. I don't care what environment you come from. As long as you're in a country where there's opportunities to make something of yourself, you've got to make something of yourself. Imagine that. Imagine out of 300 sperm, you became the... Your, your sperm cell fertilised your mum's egg and you became the best version to sit on your fucking ass as a 25, 30, 40 year old man burning weed moaning about black oppression and that. It's pathetic, blood. It's pathetic, blood. So much could have gone wrong during the childbirth and that for you to sit as a healthy human being. Who cares if you ain't the best looking person? Who cares if you ain't the tallest person? Who gives a shit, blood? Yeah, you got to make something of yourself, man. So my girl's watching the video, getting upset and that or whatever. And I'm sitting there thinking, blood, all of that struggle, all of that hardship, yeah? Everything, so many things could have gone wrong in that nine months for a healthy human being to be born, to grow up in a country, in a world where there's equal opportunities and that, for a man to sit on his ass and bun weed and moan and complain about black oppression, blood. And even if you're not a black person, there's white people, Asian people, people of all races complaining about, oh, you know, things are hard and that. Like, make something of yourself, fam. So, um, yeah, just wanted to share that video still. It was, a, it was a nice little video. Obviously, me, man love science, man love biology and that. So watching a video like that is, is, is pretty interesting. But, yeah, that's it for today, man. Stay wise, done no. There's no excuses for failure, man. Stay wise, done no.